Welcome to Trop West. Yes. Today we're having lots of speeches and screenings and information sessions. So it's exciting. This is the second year that we've had Trop Fest um, work with us on Trop West and, and the Film and Television Office or the FTO. It came about last year when um, I guess, you know, we, we were kind of talking to the FTO or the Film and Television Office and they were talking to Tropfest as well and they said you know Trop, we, we think you should meet and Trop, when we met with Tropfest, Tropfest was saying we're really keen to have more content from people from Western Sydney, more culturally diverse content, more diverse stories and we're not getting a lot of that at the moment and is there a way that we can collaborate? We're here to really just encourage people to get involved, to tell their stories. Um, we were very fortunate to tie up with um, ICE last year. Um, uh, to be able to partner up with them and then with the FTO to join up with them to, to bring this thing together where you know, we can show how to enter Tropfest, how to be involved at Tropfest and encourage filmmakers to, to submit their films and to tell their stories. Anyone can enter Tropfest. It does not matter what your background is, your filmmaking experience, your age. None of that is really relevant. It just the, the thing that we're mainly looking for is a great idea and good stories. It doesn't matter if you spent 20 grand on your film or 25 bucks. We've had winners who literally have spent 25 bucks and our last year's winner was an animation. He did it in his bedroom. It was free. So it's not um, sorry, the year before last. <laughs> um, you don't need to get too hung up on what other people's background or experience might be if they've gone to film school or if they're working in the industry. None of that really matters. I think that the key thing is to focus in on the story that you have to tell and whether or not you've got a great idea. Last year we did kind of a, an info session and a, a kind of networking thing and it was so well attended and well received and the outcomes were so fantastic that we decided this year to make it a more in-depth thing, working again with the Film and Television Office and also with Tropfest to put on Tropfest. The objectives that we have at New South Wales um, FTO that the new strategic plan is about supporting is, are sort of demonstrated here today. We look towards partnerships. We want to broker partnerships to stimulate new activity. We want to stimulate creativity and innovation within New South Wales. We want to support a whole healthy ecology for screen industries within New South Wales, which includes your large budget features made out at Fox Studios, but also short filmmaking. We say, you know, you can't have a Baz Luhrmann Australia without giving him an opportunity to make Strictly Ballroom, and he wouldn't have the opportunity to make Strictly Ballroom without, you know, having the opportunity to participate at NIDA. It's a whole ecology from one step to the other. It's good so far. Like, we've you know, heard from all the big people, FTO and yeah, yeah. Trump. And um, the Trop Fest ladies, well, yeah. I thought that was really interesting, like yeah. how they were talking about you know, the selection process and even the winner, she was hilarious, I thought she was good. Uh, the reason why I'm being here at Trop, um, Trop West today is um, because it's, you know, it's a great place to meet people who are like-minded as well as um, just be informed about what's going, what's going around in the, in the industry as well as Trop Fest as well. well pretty much um, I'm here to network. Um, that's my goal, um, to achieve and meet people um, in the industry. Uh, well, I'm here with my partners at my Productions and we're here to just find out what you know, new information's out there for Tropfest and um, hopefully try to get a scholarship, but it didn't happen. Um, but yeah, just to mingle and meet people out in the West who are actually trying to do it themselves too, so yeah. Networking. Well, I'm part of uh, the Pop Series program, and you know the Trop West um, opportunity to, to meet people and to see some of the films in Trop West, and to encourage um, young filmmakers from Western Sydney to put you know put, put in films as well. I thought it was a really great opportunity, and um, I just wanted to show my support and, and learn a little bit myself as well. The thing that you guys have got to understand is you're dealing with a language. It's a language. Dramatic storytelling is a language for presenting emotional energy. Today works well because it's like an information session, so you can find out things that you may not have known before. A lot of what you could find out today was uh, stuff you could look up on the website. What you couldn't find out was 
personal experiences of filmmakers, how they did things, what it was like for them, what benefits occurred to them in person, unless they had some sort of blog, but not many filmmakers have a blog that were here today. The most exciting part of the day for me was the speed meet section where people actually got to kind of do one-on-ones, little 15 minute sessions, kind of like, you know, speed dating, but you, you know, you, they got to meet producers, directors, people from Tropfest, people from the New South Wales Film and Television Office. So I thought that was, you know, a really fun part of the day. Can I just announce the win winner of the scholarship for this year is uh, Tracer Pono. Tracer here. We had the Minister for Western Sydney David Borger open, open it for us and kind of award the Trop West Scholarship. We gave our first Trop West Scholarship this year, which is the Ice Switch Trop West Scholarship. And the idea of that was we actually um, called for submissions far and wide across Western Sydney and selected one of the script, um, it was either for an individual could put in or a group, and we selected one person, uh, Tressa Ponner, to actually be mentored and the Scholarship's worth $5,000. We also heard from um, some of the f previous winners of Tropfest who, who showed their, the films that they'd made and also people who'd been shortlisted and won awards, like Johnny Tran. Uh, the $30,000 grant came about um, when I finished Tropfest. I decided, um, you know, um, I gained a bit of confidence about myself and sort of wanted to make, um, you know, to keep the momentum. So basically I decided to apply funding through the FTO for my next short film and um, the film's called The Pizza and it's a 15 minute drama. Um, I thought to myself, you know, I've never applied for funding before and I thought, you know, this would be a great opportunity for me. So I, you know, applied for it and um, I got the 30,000 to make my next short film. And it's really kind of thanks to Chopfest in a way because it's about like building my confidence and that's what happened after Chopfest for me. Um, I also, also submitted my film, My Brother, My Sanctuary as part of the um, submission for the FTO funding. So, um, you know, um, along with the, uh, a really great script written by Mohammed Ahmed, a friend of mine, um, we were fortunate enough to be, you know, one of the four um, successful applicants. Making films all about experience and keep making them, getting better that way. The more you make, the better you get, and also your ideas. And writing, just keep writing lots of different ideas. Filmmaking is all about how good your idea is. It doesn't matter about the budget or if you've gone to film school or if you've got, you know, big connections. It just comes down to your idea. Successful filmmaking, I think it's all about the story and it's how you engage the audience, whether you're making them laugh, cry, want like wanting her to, in my film, you want her to get revenge on the boy. You know, evoking some emotion in the audience where they are going to go along the journey with you. And it can be done in many ways through drama, comedy, horror, all sorts of genres, but that's ultimately what you want to do. I think this event has actually exceeded what it was meant to deliver and we had to turn people away. It was so full. I think next year we'll probably do something even more, you know, in depth and, and look at it, you know, look at a more extended program. But what, what it's also made me realise is there's, or just reminded me of, is that there's this real hunger for more, you know, information and connections to the film industry and that we need to really be, you know, working not just uh, on these events, which are very, very important, but also throughout the year on regular meet, you know, kind of meetings where we bring together screen producers so they can support each other and show each other their work, which is one of the things we're planning on doing from early next year. Uh-huh.